Before starting the biopsy procedure, all the required equipment must be prepared. Tweezers, syringe with anesthesia, scalpel, ultrasound probe cover, sample support, sample container with formalin, gloves. 10 cubic centimeters of 1% mepivacaine is normally used. 48-year-old patient being followed up on breast nodules. Breast ultrasound showed a 10 millimeter hypoechoic nodule, lobulated margins in the upper outer quadrant of the right breast that has increased in size compared to previous ultrasound scans. Biopsy result, atypical ductal hyperplasia. The ultrasound probe is impregnated with US gel and covered to create an efficient interface between the probe and the skin. Skin disinfection is followed by deep local anesthesia. Anesthesia is applied in the biopsy area, not only in the lesion, but around it as well, so that we can separate the lesion from the surrounding tissue, from the skin and or the pectoral muscle as needed. Continue injecting while removing the needle to ensure surface anesthesia is also applied. A skin incision is made to facilitate needle insertion. The probe has already been attached to the drive. Prime PS feature is used in this case, since the area of interest would be difficult to pierce manually. Proceed with needle insertion, pre-fire position. Fire the device when the needle tip is approaching the lesion. Stroke is 20 millimeters. Press and release the sampling button to collect samples which are driven to the sample container at the rear of the driver. To complete the biopsy procedure, simply rotate the driver to orientate the notch towards the desired location. Press the sampling button as many times as needed for sample collection. Multiple samples are obtained with one needle insertion. After completing the sampling, and since tissue marker won't be used, remove the needle together with the coaxial cannula. While patient care actions are in progress, the probe is detached from the driver and the sample container is detached from the probe. Alternatively, the sample container can be detached first. Carefully open the sample container to remove the samples and immerse them in formalin. The whole sample container can be immersed directly in the dedicated formalin container.
To avoid hematoma or any other complications, manual compression and cavity drainage maneuvers are done in the biopsy area. A compression bandage that will remain in place for 24 hours is added. A 34-year-old woman with a family history of breast cancer. Ultrasound showed a new 20mm heterogeneous nodule located in the internal periareolar region of the left breast. Biopsy result, fibroepithelial and lactational changes. Skin disinfection, deep anesthesia, not only in the lesion but around the lesion is applied, followed by surface anesthesia. Skin incision is made as well to ease needle insertion. Attach the probe to the driver, aligning the sample container and the probe tabs with the dedicated slots in the driver. Slide the probe back to lock it in place. The sampling button blinks green. Press once to synchronize the driver with the probe. The device is ready when the sampling and prime pierce button show solid green. Proceed with skin disinfection and needle insertion. Prime pierce is not needed in this case. Needle tip shows beyond the lesion. Press the sampling button to collect each sample after directing the notch towards the desired location. A tissue marker is needed in this case. The probe must be removed while keeping the coaxial cannula in place to facilitate insertion of the tissue marker applicator. Push the coaxial arm and twist the coaxial hub to detach the probe from the coaxial cannula. Then remove the probe. Introduce the tissue marker applicator through the coax. Follow the applicator bevel tip and when in place, unlock the applicator.
make sure the two red indicators are aligned. And push the plunger firmly all the way to deploy the tissue marker under ultrasound guidance. After marking, remove both the applicator and the coaxial cannula from the breast. Proceed with patient care and sample preparation. Detach the sample container from the probe and move the samples to the formalin container. Detach the probe from the driver and dispose of appropriately. All parts are disposable except the driver that must be cleaned before next use. Forty-six year old patient with a history of previous surgery for Philodes tumor. Her current ultrasound examination showed a 13 mm hypoechoic nodule at the junction six o'clock of the lower quadrants of the right breast. Biopsy result, fibroepithelial lesion with cellular stroma, B3. Skin disinfection followed by anesthesia injection is completed. Skin incision is made to ease needle insertion. The probe has already been attached to the drive. Prime pierce feature is used in this case since the area of interest would be difficult to pierce manually. Proceed with needle insertion, pre-fire position. The driver headlight helps to provide a clearer view of the biopsy area. Fire the device when the needle tip is approaching the lesion. For correct needle tip placement, consider that the stroke is 20 millimeters. Press and release the sampling button for sample collection. Samples are driven to the sample container at the rear of the driver. Simply rotate the driver to direct the notch towards the desired location and press the sampling button to collect each sample. Multiple samples are obtained with one needle insertion. To deploy the tissue marker, push the coaxial arm and twist the coaxial hub to detach the probe from the coaxial cannula. Then remove the probe while keeping the coaxial cannula in place. 
introduce the tissue marker applicator through the coax. Follow the applicator bevel tip and when in place, unlock the applicator Make sure the two red indicators are aligned and push the plunger firmly all the way to deploy the tissue marker under ultrasound guidance. After marking, remove both the applicator and the coaxial cannula from the breast. Proceed with patient care, manual compression, drainage and tight bandage. Turn the sample container anti-clockwise to remove it from the driver. Open it, remove the samples and immerse them in the formalin container. 